Mami. Princesa Goditita, Princesa Goditita, Goditita, Princesa. Na 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 not not close toy, but dog style. Close toy, dog style. See how he loves it. Listen, he loves it. Yeah. Honey on TV. Honey, good boy. Yes. Good boy. So big you are, look at you. You're almost as tall as me and you don't even stand on two legs yet. Okay, okay, give me your phone. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Yeah, you're too quiet. 
Not again. No, just one time. Just one time. Ne, 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 ne. Daddy, you want to eat me? Huh? Huh? You do that? <laughs> Look at him. He hugged me all over. <laughs> Hug me all over. Yeah, yeah. Hug me like a dog. And yeah, you eat me like that. See this? See such a big teeth you have and you want to eat? You want to eat people? Yeah, you want to eat me? Look at you eat the way you eat people like that, huh? What a guard dog you are. What kind of guard dog is such a big thing? Oh, such a big case you have there. Oh, such a big thing. All right. Success. He's so beautiful, huh? Oh, ah, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So nice you are. Hey, come on. Play a little bit. <laughs> Lady, are you all right, baby? She's been laying around recently, right? Has she always been like that? In her mood? Okay, fine. Fine, then, because I worry about you. I worry about what the girl doing all day. You're not moving, not moving. Huh? Oh, so smiling, so big. Such a big smile you are. Yeah, you want to be alone with me? Alone, alone. Me big smiling. <laughs> How pretty you are. Such a beautiful girl. Such a beautiful princess of cookie. Princess of cookie. I love cookies. Cookies I love. Cookies are good girl. A woman cannot move, needs a massage, my God. My God, needs a massage. How much you pay me, lady? Hmm? How much you pay me for these? Hmm? Hmm? How much you pay me? <laughs> you don't pay nothing. You just pay with a kiss. Yeah, and that's bigger than money, right? Enjoy, 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 are you laughing at? Huh? You're so cute with your dogs. <laughs> cute with your dogs. <laughs> your dogs are cute. Oh. That's why. Mm, ben, this is your chair, right? Okay. I'll put this on one side. Okay? There you are. You have a good corner. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good, Benny. Yeah. There, there, see? Oh, shape. <laughs> Lucky, it's no room, baby. There is any room. There is no room. There is any room. Oh, you're my old man. Look at this old man, so pretty. Look at this pretty old man. Mm. So pretty. Pretty old man you are. Everybody love Lucky. He is so old. Walk so slowly, he eats so fast. He's a champion of fast food. Yeah, he eats so fast, huh? He's a good boy. There, look at the prettiest face of all the boo boo. All the poodle in the world, all the big jones, is the prettiest face. Isn't that so cute? Isn't he so lovely? He's so lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, such a lovely dog. <laughs> yeah, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. Yeah. Look at that sea. Lucky the sea. In that beautiful sea. Yeah. Wow. Look at the sea and the mountain and the sea. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah? What took so long? You done? We done? Yeah, we done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, guys. Wow, so beautiful. Wow, all the beautiful mountains. Hey, come over here. This beautiful flower over here. Over there, over there, you have to come this way. Thank mm -hmm. you.
They have support on both sides. Not hole in the middle of the stomach. It might have stomach problem, eh? It's like this, see? Never harm. And very safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very safe. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go down now. You just sit there like a safe dog. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what do we do next? Baby. Hmm? What film do you play next, baby? Yeah. You are such a good actor. You good dog. Natural. Yeah, you should win Oscar for natural actor. <laughs> natural loving actor. Yeah. Loves everybody, Benny. Loves so much love. Benny has so much love. Huh? With such a loving face you have. Hmm? Yeah. See, like this, if you're very safe, you don't struggle or nothing. You're going to stay here forever. <laughs> but my arm doesn't like to stay like this forever, though. <laughs> Too tired already. Yeah, they get fat, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I cheat. If he's small, <laughs> I, I do this. I oh, both, you know. <laughs> I get fat. Ooh, get tired already. Have to hold safe, you know, so that they, if they struggle, mm -hmm. I don't fall. No? If they struggle, you have to lower it so that he can come down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah? yeah? Like that, just like that. Mm -hmm. Like a baby. Very simple. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay then, huh, Benny? Yeah. What time is it? Hey, you do? You can't. I can't pick you up, you big. You're not a lap dog. Are you a lap lap? <laughs> they all want to be lap dog. At night, if I open door, everybody come and to sit on the lap. So big, even Zolo want to be a lap dog. Oh my God, Zolo, him. <laughs> Look at this guy who want to be a lap dog. Yeah, compared to Benny, huh? Benny is the only lap dog, okay? Nobody else is a lap dog. Look at you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Na 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 <laughs> All right, all right, yeah. Yogananda, you know, know everything. But it's different from practice. Yogananda, he wrote that only one time his master apologized to him. Not really apologized, but something he did, you know, that he feel embarrassed. Oh, just one time. And the rest of the time that he's with him, any time he find opportunity, he scold him, you know, he degrade him, he humiliate him, all, all kind of picking, all day, all life long. But nobody read that. <laughs> they read, but they don't understand what it means, you know? He said, every opportunity the Master has, you know, he, 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 how say, he show him, you know, polish him and scold him and all kind of humiliation. E even iron, you know, so hard. You have to be melted into liquid in order to make a table like this. Even a piece of wood, you have to shell, cut, chop, and then, uh, how to say, sewing and polish oh, and paint in order to, to be useful. Even just a piece, so stupid, like square piece of wood like that. How much work gone into there already? First have to plant, yeah? And then has to grow and then see how many water and sun and air and <laughs> nutrition go into that piece of stupid wood that we made there in front of, to make a door frame like, just a square one. Hmm? It's not even anything carved or beautified, nothing at all. Just that, huh? And how much work already. And then in order to fit that door frame, you have to cut it into, you know, measure. Have to millimeter. Measure. You cannot say, oh no, it doesn't matter, it's just one centimeter, it's that much, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, then you don't make it fit, it won't fit in the frame. You see what I mean? Just a stupid piece of door like that, plastic and simple square wood. And you have to cut it and, <laughs> yeah, not to talk about you have to earn money to buy the <laughs> equipment <laughs> and buy the wood. <laughs> have to, must have time <laughs> even. If you work in order, you don't have time to do it even. You have to find even extra time to, to make the door, just a simple door like that. Do you understand me? Yeah? yeah? So it's very difficult for a human brain, you yeah? know, to, to grab something greater than that. 
to train the, the brain is very difficult, train the mind very difficult, no? But if the, the mind the, the doesn't get trained, the soul could get stuck. Hmm? If the car is no good, the driver is stuck there. You understand know I me? Mean? Driver intelligent or whatever, but the car no good, how are you going to drive it anywhere? Yeah? Even make your accident, yeah? So the more people think they know, <laughs> the less they know. That's the thing. That's a paradoxical thing, but it's true like that. The more they think they know, the more knowledge outside, the less they know anything. I'm surprised you could write English so well. I thought you'd just speak, but you could write too. <laughs> I tried. A, a couple of mistakes, but yeah, I, I could never write Hungarian like that. <laughs> not even hundred more mistakes, I could not write nothing. That language is completely strange. Yeah. Because today I watched something else, like I don't know what, Poland, Polish or whatever on TV, and I couldn't understand. Instead of president, like the way English right there, like right, pra, the, the, didn't, with the epsilon, you know, I create epsilon, um, and then a TZ something, but I made it, I know it is president. I watched the news, I could understand it. I didn't know what language it was, but. It's completely not like English. It's not at all, not similar. But I understand everything, almost. But Hungarian, I give up. I try so hard <laughs> to identify even the sound. I cannot. The mud came from uh, Mongolia or something, you know, before. Uh, Chinese, Mongolia, huh? I think, original. But you are not a Hungarian original, really. You are not. I think your parents, your descendant from German or something. You're European. Yes. The real Hungarian, they would be dark skin, a uh, dark, dark hair, mm -hmm. and shorter. You know? But you, you too are not Hungarian. You know, I mean, you weren't there, but you're not. You're more like German. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or Switzerland or something. German. You're more like German people. Yeah, German. But you, you didn't eat much when you were young, so so skinny. <laughs> Otherwise, the German people are big and strong. <laughs> it's in so few swine, right? <laughs> I don't know. I like German people though. Mm. Whatever German I made, they're nice. So I have no, no bad impression at all. I had really good impression with German people. They are good and bad everywhere, of course. Huh? But the majority. People I met who are real German, they are real nice. Such a genuine and honest, you know. They would not cheat you. That's the thing. Definitely not. You could just trust them. Strange or anything. Feel very uh, easy, huh? So I tell you a secret. When I was Rama of India, I went to Germany. And I taught some people that. Maybe that's why we had good affinity. <laughs> You know the story of Rama, right? Uh, not really. No, no, no. Uh, you don't remember? Oh, no, you were not there. <laughs> and I was in, in, in Hong Kong. We watched together a film mm. of the life of Rama. Mm. Yeah. Rama is one of the famous Indian teacher, spiritual teacher of all time, long time ago. <laughs> he has a wife who has been kidnapped. Mm. By uh, the other tribe, you know, because he likes her. <laughs> or the story like this, huh? Mm. He was, he's a prince, yeah? And he was beloved by, of course, by all the concubines of the, the king, even. even. Mm. But there is his, another wife of the king, not his mother, no, stepmother has also a son. And then uh, people tell her bad thing, you know, say, oh, you have to make your son a king, otherwise when Rama become king, you are nothing, you are nobody. Yeah? You might be uh, exiled somewhere or become commoner and your son may be killed, be nothing. Or Yeah, you'll be nobody. Right now the king loves you because you are still young, and, but your son, if, if he's not a king, then you'll be nobody. So. 
She doesn't want it. She did not want to because she loved him too. She loved that uh, king, you know, the Rama. The Rama was born before her son, and she loved him just like her son. And they even say you love him more than your son, and this is no good. <laughs> so every day talk, talk, evil talk, you know, and then she, she's done it, you know. She, you know, they cause some trouble, make something, and then the king uh, fired the the first son, you know, uh, and exile him somewhere else. Yeah. And make the other one become uh, the crown prince, later prince, later become king, you know. But because they also love each other, the brother, you know, and the Indian people, you know, they're so moral, <laughs> morally high. So he, the, the brother, the youngest, that brother, who became king later, but doesn't rule the kingdom. He, he, okay, because his brother has gone away, he don't know what, I cannot do anything. So he put his shoes on the thorn. The, the big brother shoe on the thorn, the one who's supposed to be king but exiled, you know. Yeah. So he put on the thorn and he just stand nearby every day and doing business like he's doing it for him only. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, it's a very nice story. Uh, if I had the film again, I'd let you watch it. And then this brother is even more strikingly. He, ne- he never, he never know his sister. He never know the face because he's so respectful. He doesn't want to have any... Uh, lustful thought about his brother's wife, so he never even looked at her face. He only looked at the, the, the toe. So whenever he see her, he recognized only the toe, and, and that's how he recognized her later on when she got lost. And then he came rescue or something. He looked at the toe, the, the feet, and he recognized her. That's my sister. Never once look at her face. Yeah, or any other part except the toe. That respectful. You know, that's moral. Yeah, that is one part of the story. I don't want to spoil it and tell you everything. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I tell you a little bit. <laughs> you want? Big appetite for us. <laughs> okay, okay. And then, uh, and then this wife is very so beautiful, yeah? And one of the, the person, other person somewhere, you know, envy her and then took her, kidnapped her and want to make her a wife. And you know what she does? She don't even give in, so she don't even want anything to do with him. Because she loves her husband, Rama, only. Not only her husband, but also spiritual master. How would you ever give it up? If it's a husband, maybe, but not master as well, you know? So in India, the, the relationship are like that, you know? Even if the, uh, the master married to somebody, you know? And, uh, but if the person know, because sometimes it's the destiny, a master has to marry. You understand? It is not like everybody has to become a monk to be a master. That is not the problem of the universe. <laughs> they don't care about that. You see what I mean? They don't care about that. Even if you are married to a master, you know, you don't look upon him as an equal or as a, your husband. You will sit at his feet and revere him. You know, Apart from being a wife, you are a disciple as well, and they really respect the master. I saw many in India like that. And one, one master you know, in India, he was married before, you know, and then his father died, and then he took up the name him as a successor, the son, and he already married. And now his wife, I saw it, you know, just sit up at his feet like everybody else. And when, even inside the house, when she talked to him, he sit at his feet. She sit at his feet and ask like a disciple. You understand? She doesn't throw temper and tantrum and say, I'm your wife and you have to do this. No, 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 not at all. Not in India like that. They are so well educated in spiritual matter. Uh, the Rama's wife was kidnapped by somebody. Yeah. And for 14 years. 14 years long? Yes. And all she does was she sit under the tree all day, all night. She don't let him go. She don't go into his palace or his bed. Now she just sit there right in front of everybody. Yeah, so there's he, nothing much he can do, you know. He cannot force her. I don't know how he wouldn't force her. But he said, okay, if you say you, she, something like, if you love me and you want to do anything with me, then do it right here, right in front of everybody. <laughs> Show it. So he, he's so embarrassed. He's also a king of another nation, yeah? I feel a little embarrassed. So he don't do anything. She sit there all day long, all day, all night, you know? She don't do anything else. So just the same, you know? She's also a spiritual person, you see? So because of that also he respects her, you understand? And so nothing happened. So when he came back home, my husband jealous, you know, thinking how it happened, how could it possible that 14 years that he no, don't touch you? <laughs> so she said, yes, never. 
so I say, I have to prove it, you know. Maybe not just for him, but for everybody to, to respect her again, you know, in her, in her country. So they make a fire and make her enter it. And if it doesn't burn, then she's pure. And it doesn't burn her. A uh, legend, you know, in the stories like that. And what surprised me was that at that time it seemed like they already have UFO or something. Because in the story, it described that that guy came to kidnap her in the flying chariot. Mm. At that time, many thousand years ago, how we have any airplane? You understand? Yes. Unless we, you see, at that time we were already civilized. As I have told you, we had been civilized before, and then we destroy, you know, the, the human destroy their own civilization, and then we begin again for nothing. Yeah, unless it was the story of that time. You see what I mean? Or oh, there's a UFO, you know, like an alien kidnapper. <laughs> yeah, because flying chariot, you know, mm-hmm. in the sky, come and fly, fly there and kidnap her and brought up to the sky flying. <laughs> yeah, in Vietnam we also have that story about flying chariot. But people now they read it, they thought it's just a fairy tale, you know, so they didn't bother. But I, I don't think so. It might be true, you know. It could have been an alien or there was a, a, another civilization, you know. Oh, we have been civilized at that time. So later he defeated that guy, you know, and took his wife back. And then she has to go through fire, the burning fire, to prove her innocence. And she, she's proved, so they're back together happily ever after again. The Rama, he played only that film. Because after that people re- revere him like a real master, a real Rama, so he don't dare play any other thing. <laughs> yeah. He played so well just once, and so he didn't want to re- ruin. You know, suppose uh, he's like that and playing some uh, wary or shooting people, then what would people think? You know, Rama go shoot people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that. That's the only film he played. He don't, he don't want to play any other film at all. Probably go into a forest and meditate or something, huh? <laughs> Become a real Rama, <laughs> a real yogi. That film is really a very good film. I wish they just uh, distributed all over the world, you know, Americans to see it. <laughs> we'll go to up <laughs> and then feel very bad, but no chance to make it up again because it's not easy to become a human again. Do you understand that? Do you see how many undeveloped souls in the whole universe? And human, you know, they're getting less and less every day. They, they take anti-baby pills. <laughs> they don't allow the soul to come down here to work out the karma and to go up anymore. Very difficult to become a human, yeah? It's not easy to be a human, understand? Yes. So many souls are hanging around waiting to be a human. You cannot. Not only uh, limited like this, but the affinity has to write, you see? Like if you want to come down here, your future parents have to have affinity with you, good or bad. The person have affinity with you can be your parents, but they already developed, they're already gone. You have no chance to come down. Do you understand me? It's not like you want to come down, you come down. So if when you are human life, I have an opportunity to be a human, and you don't work out your karma, you don't finish it, and you don't develop quick to become a higher level uh, God, ne? then it's it's very difficult chance to come back again. A long time. You have to sit. Nothing bad happened to you. You don't go to hell. Nobody punish you. Nothing. But you sit there and wait and just like sit in kindergarten, you know, and nothing happened to you. You understand me? Yes. Nothing good. And you'll be very sorry. So even in this physical life, if we suffer a little bit, you know, uh, physically, or if we have to do some hard labor or suffering, misery or anything like that, still have to be patient and work it out because the chances are very rare. Some people don't come back to be a human for many thousand years because there's not, no chance for them to do it. If to be in this life, you have to either meet friends or enemies or somebody before that had affinity with you in the former life. If they are on the physical plane, yeah? Do you understand? Then you have to have their permission to be your parents or not, if they want to or not. Because there are many other affinities that they have. They take the priority. Do you understand me? Yeah, and, and, and a parent can only have many sons and many daughters. <laughs> and nowadays they take anti baby pills and you have to wait longer. Hmm? 
the list is long. No? Wait until that parent come back again and have another five sons or five daughters again. Then you might be. Maybe it's your turn or not. Oh dear. People are so stupid. I keep telling them, but they, some people are just so stupid. So when you work for somebody or do something, don't ever think that it's for that person or for anybody, okay? Not even for the dog, for the pet, anything. Just all for you, okay? Please don't be stupid, okay? I, I don't care if you go or you do or what you want. It's just, I just remind you one time and no more. I don't say that to other people. Huh? It's different when you go out to work and earn money than to work for your karma. Do you understand me? Because when you work and earn money, your karma is different, very less. You pay less. Uh, I mean, your karma is uh, erased, but less. You understand? Very slow. It's a different story, you know, it's a different motive. Do you understand me? Yeah. That's why, oh dear. In India, they say, even the master throw you out hundred times. You never leave his gate. Nowadays, uh, master don't have to throw. <laughs> they throw themselves out. <laughs> so convenient, you know. In the old time, if you come to see a master, you come a long way, ne? So even if you want to go home, oh my God, <laughs> it's too long, so uh, be patient, maybe tomorrow I feel better, I don't say anything, you know? But yeah, can you imagine if you want to see Jesus before, how many days you have to walk, or even on the horse's car, oh, it's very tiring. You know, I, I went in horse uh, before, a horse car before, it, it banged, it, it, it bum 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 bum, you know, it's very painful. <laughs> you sit too long, painful. And dusty and the, the horse poo in front of you. Yeah. Even if the king before that has to go that kind of horse, what do you think? Yeah? And if you come all over your your car then you can't see nothing and it's very suffocating inside. So even the the king in our old time, not as good as now a commoner, he has car and you know, he worked in the factory but he has car and very comfortable, he go anywhere quick. The king before a travel, oh, take months, days or weeks or months or years on the horse, you know. Horse cart or horseback, it's very painful. So before, if you want to see Buddha or Jesus, you have to go that way, you know, very far away, yeah? To see the, the, the living master, eh? see disciple, or, yeah, initiation from far away, it's different. But to see, to, to be with the master, you have to take many, maybe many months, like Xuan Zhuang, after Buddha died, he wanted to go to find the real teaching in India because at that time it's not normal translation to Chinese, you know, and it doesn't go that far. So he had to go to pilgrim to India. It took him 17 years just to go to get the writing scripture from the disciple of the Buddha left in India and to translate it. And that's how the Chinese have all the translation of the Buddhism. Before we didn't have 17 years go through a lot of trial and tribulation and temptation and risky life, everything. <laughs> and he was even the brother of the king of that time, brother, uh, like swan in brother, you know, swan brother, yeah. Not blood brother, but the king even gave him everything comfortable for him to go. But how comfortable can the king give? He have no Rolls Royce for him, not even a Volkswagen. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, it's just a horse. <laughs> so in the old time, if you want to see Master, it's like that, yeah? And then you will not go home because too far, yeah? So you might as well settle down there. But nowadays it's so easy, oh, okay, over there, here's something, all the center, some more activity, oh, better, we go there. More young people, more active, let's go there, do something better than here, for example, like that, and then you run. You see what I mean? And then you go there and uh, when all the activity, no more, and then you hear other places and then you run, 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 you know. Just uh, pleasing the mind only, nothing developing. Because you have a car, you have train, you have taxi, you have airplane, so it's, it's also not easy for people to settle down. Huh? Mm -hmm. The Taiwanese is easier, I guess. It's just a small island. Wherever you run, you go to the same place. Huh? <laughs> Maybe that's why all the residents are so faithful. No? Whether you go, it's the same. You know? And go through traffic, traffic Taipei, might as well stay here. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, the mind is very difficult to control, eh? Yeah. But it's good also, you know, it's good that some uh, bad people are screened out, you know, 
it was a spoiler, you know, lazy and uh, low level. I'm glad I didn't have to tell anybody to go anymore because they would go himself. Oh, this is good. Before I used to do it, you know, tell them to go. Now I just wait. <laughs> Why they come, I, you know, wait, and then they'll go out anyway. <laughs> so I'm waiting and waiting, you know. <laughs> it's good. It's good like that. I feel more relieved that way, you know. Um, what is it, this physical body anyway, you know? Even if you die and you attain better level for your soul, you would do it, right? People are so stupid, short-sighted. They think of uh, something in the front and not think too far. But this is good also. Maybe this is good enough. You don't want anybody to come anymore. If anybody else uh, happened to come here by chance, we just fight a lot, you know, <laughs> scolding each other and make the dog fight each other or bite them or whatever. And then they <laughs> they go. <laughs> yeah, there was before. Um, I think you know the story already. It was two uh, two good master. Two saints they stay together in the forest, you know, and they want to be alone. They don't want to be disturbed or anything because they don't like the world that much. The people at that time, you know, they're not very receptive to teaching, so they just go in the forest, stay together, and keep quiet, you know. But somehow somebody would discover them. As I told you already, fourteen minutes drive. I live in the cave, forty minutes drive before you see the first house ever, and still somebody come up there, yeah, and call the police. Why does she live there? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then disturb me, you know I me? Mean? Okay, so these two guys also discovered. And my cave, you couldn't even find it if you don't know. There's no road to go in there. There's no connected road. You go past the river, and, and there's no more trace. No road, no path, nothing. You have to go between the bushes to get there. Even the, the owner, before he couldn't find it, he forgot. He knows it is there, but he don't know where. And it took him three, four days to come the whole region to find it, by chance. <laughs> and then we have to go in, and I don't cut any, any trees so that nobody can see it. Yeah, still somebody find it. They find around only, they didn't go in there. But later on, you know, slowly they get. And then, but I, I left before anyway, you know, I know, I know about it, and then I just left before they even came. And they came after. What do they find? Just some clothes and a tent and <laughs> an oil heater and vegetarian food. That's it. Yeah. They are the two yogi. They live together in the forest. And somebody know about it and tell the king of the country and the king of the country. So he think, oh, because they say, oh, it must be very good saying they stay there together. And, you know, they hardly eat anything and they have bright light all over their body. So the king want to get some blessing, you know. Well, in India or anywhere, people hear some saying they want to come and touch them so they heal their body, and, you know, heal their boys or heal their wound, whatever, or heart attack or whatever, you know, so go there. And uh, with all the horses and the elephants, oh, the big show off going there. And they think the two saints would come down and bow in front of the king. He think, you know, that the two yogi would run and bow in front of their feet, oh, you're my yes, just did this and that. But they didn't do anything. They were just sitting there together under the tree. Hardly wear anything. Don't wear anything. And the attendant of the king run up to them and says, Hey, you get up, get up quick. Go bow to the king. Ah, put this on your body. You're so indecent. You cannot be naked in front of the king. They say, Then the king don't have to come here. <laughs> and that's okay. And they see okay. They say, okay, they, they force them to put something on, and they don't put anything on. They, they deliberately put it upside down, you know, like their trousers they wear on their head, and the shirt they wear underneath, and their feet, something like that. And the king was looking and uh, don't know what to do, and then they start shouting at each other. The, the two yogis start to screaming at each other, and then like beating up each other and talk nonsense or that, and then the king just shook his head after a while and said, these two are not, they are crazy people, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a nice, yeah, a good trick, no? Yes. Good trick. Remember, eh? If you want to get rid of somebody, don't act very good and kind, <laughs> because they will stick forever. Yeah, you have to act crazy or stupid or bad, 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 like my dog. Yeah, like Woody. Yes, yes. You are Woody, but you act bad when people yet you don't like them, and then you get rid of them for me. Thanks a lot. Two bones, he got rid of it right now. <laughs> Two bones. <laughs> What's wrong with your nose? Happy. 
Something wrong? You scratch your nose? Oh god. Somebody scratch your nose? Oh my god. Maybe long ago, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Or is it new? Oh, it's not it's not scratched right now, but it has some mm -hmm. maybe maybe last time long ago. Maybe the, the gate that time, right? Okay. Long ago, right? Yeah. Not new, huh? Mm -hmm. no. Come on, I didn't know this time. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, is somebody scratch? It's, it's not fresh. It should be old. Old, huh? Yeah. Old. Mm -hmm. but Linda has a little bite. Also? At the side. Yeah, I saw that. That yeah. was long ago. It come back again. No, no. It just yeah, this morning, uh, Happy and Linda. Happy bite? Yeah, they screamed at the door or something. And, huh? and ha mm -hmm. Happy just... Um, yeah? Yeah. Oh, like, how come the same place like last time? <laughs> a little bit lower. So oh, always the same, almost the oh same place. Oh God! She said no. She said it's open again. No. I was thinking. You didn't know, right? Yeah. Mm. How can happy by Linda never? They play together all the time. It's funny. <laughs> also, they always play nicely. Just maybe it's happened like too much excitement mm -hmm. and the door and it's too small and they squeeze. Which door? Over there and here. This door, uh -huh. mostly, and up there, when she, they come out from the room. Okay. Was it possible to let one group at a time? Oh, that door even is still small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they sing, the thing is, they don't wait, they just squeeze all together. Mm -hmm. God. Now, don't tell me I have to be one, one room for each dog now. <laughs> we could do that, we buy the hotel. dog house. Dog hotel. <laughs> <laughs> No, we buy the dog house and just put it different in the room. Big room but dog house. No, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. She never buy anybody. How come? Probably just snap like like that guy, huh? Too near, huh? Didn't mean to buy, I don't think. But this is no good, is it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe Linda, you have to take it, go downstairs or something. I don't want to because she used to together, you know. Because she's very very excited, you know, and she probably pushing, pushing, and that's how it happened. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, happy never by anybody. They're together, five of them, never any problem. And you know how Hermit sometimes very exciting too. But Hermit, he just jumped to the front, you know? And Linda, he, she run around, <laughs> around, around, <laughs> anywhere. No, she don't even stay in the front only. That's the problem, I was afraid of that. But last time Linda was in with the big, uh, small dog, you know, the black dog. So I thought that by her, that's why I put her in together with Happy, because they play together. And still something happened. Now oh, what to do? Happy and Linda have to go to the sea then, huh? Go on the boat. <laughs> yeah, boats isolate from everything. Cannot swim so far. A big boat out there? We send you two. Just recently, so much happened. Before nothing happened, they even stayed together in the same room, right? In uh, Hungary, right? Before the five dogs come in, they stayed together. Huh? Yes. Nothing happened, right? Must be that uh, the people walking around here sometimes, you know, affect the environment. Because you know how fast she is, right? And she just stands with four legs, and just the body moves. Uh -huh. like that. <laughs> My God, the legs don't move. Do you understand? <laughs> Look like the. The middle run away from her, from her front and the, her back. The middle, the middle body just run to, to the other dog and run back. <laughs> but they are very near each other, so he didn't have to run too far. But you can see like the middle of the body move away and then move back, move away, move back, because it's fat and it flows around, you know. Her body fat, you know, so it, it go like the whole jungle, swing over and swing back. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe this girl. She does so many things. <laughs> I think you can't even capture it. You know, you can't even begin to describe. It. Funny. Before, when we had only five dogs, you know, sometimes uh, I have all the five. Sometimes just one dog at a time, so they can enjoy undivided attention. You know, like a couple of days uh, happy and a couple of days uh, hermit. So when it's her turn, you know, she way up there and I, I finish my job and I come up and she, she stand in front of her four leg and then she jump around <laughs> and she look at me. <laughs> oh my God! She should, you know, the the butt come up, the butt come up, just the front, 
<laughs> Did you want I like it? Come on. Oh my god, the expression, you have to see it. I can't even describe it. Oh, she's so funny. And she do that like for half a minute. You know, happy, but she show a different dance. <laughs> Not like jump on you, you know, or bark in like usual, but it's a very different, deliberate dance. Oh, beautiful. She was so beautiful. She do just special for me. I never saw that she does that to any other dog or anybody else. Only that special occasion when I'm alone with her. Dog that they know so much, they just don't show it, no? She just show her appreciation, you know, that I came up. <laughs> She's in my room alone and I was working down there with the other guy and when she came she was so happy. But happy calm, you know? Do the dance for me. Yeah. She just uh, lean her body down a little bit in the front and the, the butt up and then jump around and from the left and then back to the right and from the left and from the right. Just keep doing that for half a minute long or one minute, I don't remember even. Repeating, repeating. <laughs> And I was so surprised that just standing there and watch, you know, oh, this is so beautiful. And she looked at you, you know, like, <laughs> wow, like you are the only person on the planet. Yes, so beautiful. Hermit, don't lick all that. Look at your pinky cheek, pinky toe. Look at his toe so pink. Hermit, enough. And he keep licking it, make it more pink. When he first came, you know, his mouth was like all so pink and tender, and his feet all pink and tender. I wonder if he could even walk on the grass. It's so soft, you know, it looked like baby. Yeah, white paw and tender pink feet. Yeah. I tried to give the chance so that he can erase the last, you know, burden, you know? Whatever I give you, you have to keep it. You understand? Like if I give you to the fourth level, you have to keep it by being humble or diligent more, and then you go up more. But if you don't, then you go down again. You understand? And your, your karma before coming after you. If you're lower, they get you. If you're higher, they can't. When I was in Hungary, he was very helpful, you know, and very happy, of course, because Oh, Master come first time and everybody comes, so he's happy, very willing to do things. And he was very good then, so his level go up. And then here it's different, he go down again. When I'm not there, he go down. He go down before he came here. But of course I cannot throw him out, eh? So the scolding and all that, just clean him. Eh? So don't you ever try to side with him again, because you'll be in trouble. Yeah? You don't even know it. <laughs> I'm warning you, okay? Don't interfere with my work. But you don't know who's who, huh? I can even take a devil and bring it up to the fifth level. That's for me easy. But for that devil to keep the fifth level is not. You understand me? I can give you anything you want. It's just that you can't keep it. You see so many like millionaire uh, children, after the father died, he squandered a lot of all this money and then become beggar even. Worse than all of them before, have debt and go to jail or this is the same thing with heaven work, yeah? Just don't keep asking me why couldn't we go higher, higher. I could, but you don't keep. Because your personality don't fit your brain, your karma. You just keep going back to the level before. Habit. The habit of the karma pulling. And if you slip, and then you go down. Huh? Uh, very difficult huh? to keep a sainthood, take many years of training, unless you came from there. Yeah? And even then you go down, you have different DNA and you entangle with many other karma, then they're also pulling you. It's not that easy. It's not that I don't want to give you anything. I do give everybody, just they can't give it. Some give it only one night, <laughs> like a one-night king, you know? Now you understand what I'm saying with the staircase, huh? Of course right now it's still okay, but it doesn't feel right, and then if you keep walking long enough, it might loosen up the screw and it come down. Because the screw has to be like this, because it's the head of the screw, you know, it keeps it thing. But if you're like this, then it keeps come down with the time, you know? And they did together the, the terrace, same stuff, okay? He put two pieces of wood like this, and then the, the, that thing, the, the piece of wood, just one, 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 and then he when we walk on it, it, it bends down because it relies only on two screws on both sides. He said, oh no, I said they cannot. He said, oh no, the wood is very strong. The wood is strong, but the screw is just a small screw. 
You understand me? He put it like this and screw, screw. And then we walk on the, the on there, you know, one by one, like the swimming pool area. Yeah. But the swimming pool has earth underneath. This one is in the air. And when we walk, keep walking, it bend down like this. And it, it, it bit my toe one time. Because my toe got caught in between, and the dog also. So I have to tell somebody to crawl underneath of the small area like this to put some support in between. And then screw, screw, screw. It's more difficult than in the beginning you, you have done that. Because it's on top of the roof, you know, and the, the space is very small. <laughs> a small guy crawl underneath mm-hmm. and put a, an extra support in between of the... Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah you, you will see what I mean later yeah. on. If you want to learn, I'll show you later, okay? I'm too lazy to talk with him again. Because he will tell me, ah, yeah, yeah, because, because, because. So, I'll show you later, okay? Mmm, avocado. You have to put olive oil on it, right? Yeah, there's a bit of lemon already. Mmm. But you need to have olive oil. This or olive oil? I put this. Also have olive oil inside. There's already some lemon in it. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Because I have to soak. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Lemon is good. Very good. The avocado and lemon, otherwise they go brown. No, they're all good. Lemon and avocado are one of the best, you know, the best uh, medicine. Yeah. Lemon, avocado. Oh, no, lemon and vinegar. Mm-hmm. Or, or, I mean, lemon, olive oil, or vinegar, olive oil, they're the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cure all kinds of, of sickness. That's why the Italians, they, they are centenarian, you know, they live long. Uh, one of the, the longest yeah. living in, a, in, in the world, no? Japan and Italian. They eat healthy. Japan, they eat seaweed and fish and all that. We don't eat fish, of course, but they eat healthier than the Western, no? Fish are, are better than meat, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah, easier digest, and, yeah, and less killing. Also, they have good vegetables and fruits because of the climate. You mean who? In Italy. Yeah, Italy, of course. Yeah. Good climate, so you always yeah. have good fruit and veg. Yeah. And they eat olive oil every day. Yeah. And lemon or vinegar, you know? This is yeah. very good for your health. It's not only nutrition, it cleans up system. The olive and lemon, for yeah. example, if you have constipation, you mm-hmm. just drink a spoon of lemon, uh, lemon and olive oil together, that's it. Mm. And it's immediately. Yeah. No need to take the uh, laxative, you know, it's very harmful to you. Yeah. Oh, the Italian is good. They are good. <laughs> I have had very good experience with Italian people. Yeah. I like them. <laughs> I told you, in Rome, everybody stopped for me to cross the street. Mm-hmm. On a busy street. Actually, in Italy, there's a lot more gentlemen. Yeah, they, very. They say the English or the gentlemen. No, but no. I'm sorry. In no. London, no, 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 no. I found one gentleman in five years. In oh, no. Ah, they are so cold. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> are you real English or are you Irish? My mother was German. Oh, that's why. Okay, don't be offended then. <laughs> <laughs> the English people, they are just so cold. Gentlemen, I my foot. The Italians are more warm and hospital. But the English are good for me, you know. The embassy and all that before, they used to have very easy and not bureaucratic too much. But English are not that gentleman, I'm telling you. I saw dogmatic kind of, huh? Mm. If you drive the aircon, the, there's a window of the aircon flowing out, huh? Right. You turn it all up, so all the air come up and not straight into your eyes yeah. and your nose or in your chest. Car? Yeah, in the car. Yeah. No matter what position you make, normally, and you don't turn it into the one that direct in. But maybe once a while, you know, once you you need it cool up quick, and then you have to turn it to moderate. Mm-hmm. And always the window up, yeah? mm-hmm. not the whole time the window right next to you and the air blows mm-hmm. through your nose. And, because sometimes there's dust in the air con mm-hmm. and from the, the street, yeah. and it blows in your nose and all kind of things no good for you. Mm-hmm. And also, if it blows in your eyes, then you get very tired, yeah? Mm-hmm. So it's better the air go up, yeah? Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it blow in the air and it cool the whole air, mm-hmm. but not directly to your body. Mm-hmm. And never make it too cold for the whole journey, because once you step out of the cold, you go into the hot, you're doomed. Mm-hmm. I told him all this, he knew it all, right? 
some people just like to act defiantly, so they feel strong, you know. <laughs> this is a kind of complexity, actually. It's not strong. If you're very confident within yourself, you learn anything. You take it or you leave it, you don't care. But yeah. if you have complexity, then you always try to be defensive. Huh? At your own cost, huh? <laughs> it's okay when you're a teenager and all that, people forgive you, but when you're over 30 already, it's ridiculous. Huh? Mm -hmm. I look silly. <laughs> Master, what do you recommend for us, the newer one, how to? Oh, just progress Never mind, just be humble, man. <laughs> just be humble. Open and learn. Mm -hmm. There's not much to do here. God, there's nothing really. Mm -hmm. no, I mean to learn, to progress more. Nothing to do. Just get your ego out and everything else, okay? Just the ego, that's my trouble. It's the ego that wants to, to be better than anybody else. And, you know, argumentative, you yeah? You guys are okay for now, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Not everybody's the same, you know? You're okay. There's not much to do here. I don't uh, I mean, I feel better if I know that you know, we are not up to, uh, No, 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 no. I don't compare, okay? Everybody's different, all right? Just maybe an example for you so that you understand. I'll show you later, after, okay? And then you understand what I mean, okay? And it's not concerning you. Because it's open again, so all the hot air, yeah. I tape it, but it's open again because it's not the same like its own thing, you know? And so the hot air coming, you know, feeling uh, you, you feel cool over there, right? Oh, yeah, it's better. But it would be cooler if the hot air come out instead of come in. The pipe broken, so the hot air don't come out and it go back inside the house. That's why I had to open the doors. You know, I give up to my disciple. I really give up. Whatever I ask him to do, he backfire. It's always every day the same stupid things. Twenty years already, I endure all this. It's just like the level. I give them comfort, but they break it. You know, I give them fifth level, but they can't keep. Same. Very sad thing with human. And the human mind is very difficult to teach anything. And I have been grooming him all along with the aircon mm -hmm. many times. But it just, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you listen to a master, it's easy for you to avoid karma. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you don't, then you're exposed to them. You're either here or there, you see? Mm -hmm. huh? If you're not with me, then you're with the other side, huh? You understand? If you're not with the positive, then you're with the negative. Mm -hmm. And they get you. It's very simple. We're always at war, you know? Positive and negative, eh? like enemies. Yeah? And if you're not uh, within the perimeter of, uh, of a protection of a master, then you are with the other side. <laughs> you're outside. You understand? Mm -hmm. Outside of the bunker, outside of the, your territory. Yeah. Then they get you. Sickness and all that is karma, eh? Yeah. Clean up, no? I can take so much only, but I cannot take all for, for the disciples, understand? Ninety percent only, but not hundred percent. <laughs> it's the law like that. Ninety hmm? percent is good It's probably that ten percent that's the hardest for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I keep licking the avocado, it's not too many, is it? <laughs> <laughs> all gone. I ate all the avocado. I think they're gone. What? The avocado tree looks like. Nah. I've never seen one before, it's really nice. <laughs> Have you seen it, it's, it's, the avocado tree? It really looks good. They're good. Could even live under. <laughs> Very cool. Cool shade, no? Like a house inside. Lucky. Stay away from chair, baby. My old man, my little boy, you draw a good old man, a beautiful boy, you draw a good old young old man. Okay, Linda, you too, you too, you too. Good old, ah, Toto, don't shake it here. Actually, Linda is very good. I'm surprised.
Uh, she didn't meditate with her for a while, and I said, I said, okay, now you go sleep here. It's safer for you. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow, and then she just goes sleep. She go on, to, on top of the uh, the sofa, sleep now. She don't go underneath. She like that small sofa. I tell her, go to the big sofa. But she only go there when I'm there. And when I'm gone, she go back to the small sofa. She like the corner. That's why, you see, I, I wanted to try to bring the big sofa to that corner for her yesterday. But I'm alone. It was so noisy. It goes, kah, 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 kah. So maybe we try it later. I don't know if she liked the small sofa or because it's near the place there. But the big sofa is more comfortable, you know, so she can stretch, you know? We will see. Damn it. What then? Hmm? Later, huh? Later. I love you. Yeah, I love so much love. Yeah. Benny, I'm so good boy. Oh, Benny, I'm very clean today. Very good. Is anybody here as good at cleaning? Housewifing? Me? Yeah, you are? I'll clean. I'm a, I'm not a manager of gym. I'll clean the gym. I was working from early morning. Oh, really? I'll clean, I'll clean, clean, clean. I'll oh, really? Clean anything I'll do that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. And maybe you clean the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some men are better than women, I found. Actually, he's always clean. I'm always clean. Yeah, oh, good. He's in the helmet's place. He's always clean. He's always in the kitchen making cakes or cleaning. He's actually a housewife. Mm -hmm. I think I must have done that. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm in other toilets, I've been toilets. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Not very good. Who knows? Oh, uh, we can test. Mm -hmm. Have a contest. Who's the cleanest person? I'll, I'll go last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very slow. I'll go after everyone's clean. <laughs> okay. We can all learn a little bit here and there, you know, yeah. so that we become like all around yeah. developed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because some people don't even know what they have until they do it, you know. And then they find, oh, I didn't know I can be good at this and that. And then they cast out the notion that they're not good at this, they're not good at that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then they become more confident, like, you know, can do anything. Yeah. Because if we have a little knot somewhere, <laughs> a knot, then we still feel a little bit no good, eh? You know, when, uh, when some of the... In the old time, when... Um, Somebody wants to learn with a master or anything, maybe even martial art or spiritual. They just let them do cleaning, gardening, <laughs> you know. This is how you retrain your mind into different directions. Otherwise, you get, get used to it going this way, you know. Now we go this way. Yeah? It's like that movie, the karate kid. Mm. And he's cleaning and waxing. Yeah, it's yeah, nothing to do with it. I think, yeah, I think what kind of master who just like yeah. abuse me, you know, I want to, learn to, do, arts, yeah. to do the job for him, clean his car. Instead, I want to come to, to be a hero, you know. He learned nothing, just <laughs> watching the car, cleaning the window shell, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or do whatever, you know, chop wood yeah. or kill Bill. Is he kill Bill? No, I heard he was quite violent. So it is. Uh, yeah, but there's something you can learn, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We lose 50 points watching live. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So it's just like um, sometimes I have to read newspaper, you know, the whole garbage, you know, yeah. to dig out one piece of diamond for just, you know, for something for, for somebody else I can use. Yeah. Diamond is like that. <laughs> Very difficult. Sometimes I have watched some extremely bad film, I hated it. So I know what they're doing, so that I can tell you, this is not good, this is good, you know. In Kill Bill, it's a very violent beginning, huh? And then, uh, <laughs> look like Japanese style, you know, <laughs> before, you know. And then later on, it is some good point, you know, like, okay, she learned with this uh, so-called master, he's very difficult, huh? Oh my God, she make, make her practice and everything. Her hands already bleeding, couldn't move it, but he make her eat it with chopsticks. And not, not with finger, you know, <laughs> because she also don't know how to use yeah. chopstick. They say you, you eat like a man, not like a dog, because she use, and then, and then he make her force her to to do with, yeah. Even though she was bleeding hand and everything, and every day carrying a lot of water, of like hundred steps up, carry water. For a Westerner, for an Americaner. <laughs>
you know, the one who introduced her to the, that master, martial art, or he's the best, no? That's how she became the best, no? And he say he abhor Americans and some weakness or something. A woman. He hate women and he hate Americans. Oh, great. <laughs> so if you behave like an American or a woman, then you're out. <laughs> so he really treat her like a man. And then that's how she saved her life later on, you know, not talk about all the good martial arts that she learned, but she saved her life. But somebody bury her alive with a thought. And she had to use her bare hand to to chop the coffin and climb up through the whole burial earth to come mm-hmm. up to the top. I don't know. Yeah, I'm telling you. But this thing now it's a little bit maybe exaggerating but it's a principle, you know? Because of all the, the discipline she learned with him, she'd be able to master the strong will as well. Mm-hmm. It's not just the physical. Mm-hmm. Do you understand me? Mm-hmm. It's the will. The will to do the things that you think you cannot. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it's really cannot, I wouldn't tell you to jump from the Mount Everest down to see if you die or not, relying on your will, not like that. But if it's doable, yeah. don't make excuse like, oh, it's too much for me, oh, you think, oh, i never done this before, I'm a woman, why me? <laughs> Things like that. Do you understand me? Mm-hmm. Everybody takes some, oh, we have some ice lollipop. Mm-hmm. Also, I noticed this sign on the door. You know, mm-hmm. The sign is this in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone. Yeah. yeah. I thought that's Italian. See, like, it can be Italian also, yeah. It's like a dialect. Yeah, listen more still. Leave me in peace. Yeah. You have it also at the end of the gates? It's not my house. It was there before. I was already there? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's very funny. I thought maybe you. No, it's the name of the house. It's official. Uh, Why should I take it away? <laughs> it's official and it's good. It's just what we need, huh? Yeah. It's this. You're talking about that it's like Shangri-La here. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm glad. I'm glad you like. Yeah. I just I'm just trying to keep the peace in here. When I see something I like, I know it almost immediately. Yeah, mm-hmm. unless there are two similar, and you know, mm-hmm. I have to think. But if there's only one, do we still have enough uh, people? Yeah, <laughs> too much now, huh? It's okay, not too much. If I have bigger place, some other people can come also. But we don't have enough space now. Are you okay? Yeah, not too hot. No, no get used to it. <laughs> only a couple of hours. A couple of months only, also. No? Yeah. Upstairs also very hot, no? But sometimes I'm walking, walking, I forget. Yeah? <laughs> and then when I finish walking, who? <laughs> you don't have air conditioning? Have, have, but I don't like. Yeah, now and again, okay. When the dogs are there, when it's extremely hot, because up, you know, it's more hot. But it's, it's just a couple of hours, as you said, it's not always. And I keep the shade, you know, mm-hmm. on the open a little bit with the shade so the heat mm-hmm. from the glass window don't go into the room. Mm-hmm. Keep yeah. the shade. Keep the curtain behind the, the glass door. Mm-hmm. And I open only when it's cool now, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and when you open the windows and door, it's all cool, it's cool. You see, we're lucky here because we don't have sun all day like those yeah. opposite. In winter, of course, it's not that good. But in summer, it's the best, you know? Yes. And therefore, summer and winter temperate in this mountain because it's always not much of anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Four or five o'clock, the sun already set. No? Mm-hmm. So we're not always hot. It's very quickly dissipate the heat. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You look more relaxed now when you, when you first came. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting used to it. It's like when you go on a first date, you know? With the, yeah? My God. And so serious? To <laughs> More serious? Not that dramatic, is it? <laughs> You've seen me before many times. It was a shock, Master. To huh? be here. It was a shock. But you knew that I was here, no? After you came here. After we came here, here we heard that Master arrived in the morning. So. Oh, oh, you didn't know it the day before. Well, I was guessing, so, but I really knew. Uh-huh. 
after you arrive and after a couple of hours, I just realized that every, uh, everything is going on. So I <laughs> <got> panic. <laughs> panic? <Yes. laughs> we didn't look panic. She looked very serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, before I met you, I got panicked. Yeah? I, yeah. What's wrong? Hours. I'm your friend. No? I know, Master, but there's too much to believe. It's so oh, what? <laughs> you always want to be with Master, and when you get it, why? Why me? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Really? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't understand. I'm not even a true. king or queen or anything special. I'm just ordinary like you. Yeah. 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 No, really. No, never in my life. Even like, for example, like a big deal one, you know, like the Master of Himalaya or uh, Dalai Lama or whatever, you know. I'm happy, you know, pleased. I'm pleased that I'm going to see him, but not, not squeezy like you. <laughs> my God. Like you're going to see your husband after ten years or something. In fact, I don't remember being really excited about anything. Thing. Oh, I'm a little excited. Oh, I make it more excitement. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. But not really in my heart, you know. <laughs> it's so it's cool. <laughs> Nothing really excited that much. <laughs> and you, been that yeah, you and I was kid. Nothing big deal. <laughs> I probably be more shy than excited. Mm. Like when I get um, a award from school and all that, I'm more shy than excited. So they're going to put me in the center of the stage and introduce all kind of blah, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. I'm more shy than excited. <laughs> I don't know, I, I guess I just have this kind of <laughs> cool ventilation in my heart. <laughs> Installed it, you know? <laughs> Usually I'm also cool. Yeah? Sometimes people tell me I'm cold. Mm -hmm. But here you have. <laughs> I was panic here, really. Panic? Yeah, when I, when I came here, really. I, yeah? I freaked out. I thought I cannot make it. I'm not maybe good, too good enough for here. So you're not good enough for here. Nobody is. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, Hamid is not good enough for here, but he just here. <laughs> yeah, and he enjoys it. He don't care good or not good. He run to my room any time. He don't say he's good or not good. He just wants it. <laughs> All of them. They all want to go up to my room. <laughs> Terrible. It's so hot if they're all together, especially summer, you know. Mm -hmm. Spread them three rooms and blow aircon for them at night, but the aircon go up now. So mm -hmm. it just cool the air, but not direct into them. Mm -hmm. Because if to get the degree, the cold enough for them is to cold for me, you know. Yeah. I sleep without aircon. In winter, yeah, some heater, ne? but not, not aircon. Too cold. Hey, you! What is? <laughs> <laughs> Zola number two? <laughs> That's why I don't growl at you. <laughs> if you're Zolo, I already growl. Yeah, I just want some love, that guy. So funny. Don't know what human love is, but now wants every day. I never knew it, you know? He and Zolo are the survivors of that. Horrible farm, eh? Tell mm -hmm. you. So he and Zolo are the only family together. That's why Zolo bear him so much, and he take advantage of you. You take advantage of Zolo, eh? Take advantage of Zolo, goodness, eh? Nah? Okay. But they knew each other before. Huh? Yeah. It's the same farm. <laughs> I told you. Always what? Fighting, I, thought a no, I know, I know. No, he's just jealous with him. Because he's the only family member, so he want to keep it for himself. Oh. Yeah, also teach him something. Don't jump. <laughs> let me jump for you. <laughs> Don't bark. Let me bark. I saw you know. Uh, honey. Yeah, you're a good boy. See? I told you. If I told you no, you don't do it. You go to the newspaper. <laughs> All right. Goody, you want some of this? Goody. Goody's funny when he's chasing the shadows. I know. <laughs> yeah. really funny That's why I call him Shadow Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Japanese samurai, huh? Yeah. yeah. Do you have enough food there? How about this? Did you have? Yeah, it's got two pieces. Two pieces? No, you want more pieces. In case. 
Um, you pay for the gym, huh? Yes. You're a muscle girl. Uh, no, just to jump up and here. <laughs> yeah, oh, jump here. <laughs> Up and down here, yes. I know some people pay a lot for gym and don't get anything. Yes. Here it's natural. You don't have to force yourself anything. And I have to force myself to go there because it was far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I was lazy. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Over there is a matter of survival, eh? Mm -hmm. yes. Put it up here and the bathroom is down there. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, no? Mm -hmm. And watering plants with the holes, you know, and you mm -hmm. also muscle. <laughs> no, yeah. It's a very um, graceful gym, hmm? mm -hmm. not like uh, growing your <laughs> your shoulder like a man, but mm -hmm. graceful. Yeah. Yeah. The question is regular mm -hmm. and gracefulness. Mm -hmm. It's better for you than go and pump it iron for a few hours and <laughs> exhaust yourself. <laughs> and they say sometimes you even get sick of it, I don't know, too much strain or something, mm -hmm. and the uh, bacteria. Because they don't clean it immediately after everybody else uses, you know, maybe they clean it once a day, or if you're lucky. Actually, there's some signs saying wipe the, mm -hmm. wipe it after you use it. You know? Yeah, but are you with what? Yeah. So you bring the whole household. No, they have towel. They give you towels. Uh -huh. They have like a paper Wet towel. towel. No paper towel and uh, spray. Uh huh. And you you take it and uh, you. I don't know. They still say in the newspaper yeah, so there's yeah. so much. Yeah. But I'm not everyone wipes it up with this mm. anyway. Yeah, and not every gym has the thing, yeah. yeah. It's not only the thing, it's the air. Yeah. The sweaty and yeah. heat, you know, and mm -hmm. damp air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heat, you know, they they strive on it. Mm -hmm. Because the bacteria don't necessarily always stay on the on the handle, eh? They yeah. run all over and then mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you have to catch them one by one. <laughs> Wipe the air, please, <laughs> after you breathe. <laughs> please chase after your own bacteria before you left. <laughs> Clean up your bacteria before you left. Huh? The penalty <laughs> is two penicillin per day if you don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I read in a newspaper. I don't know. I don't go to gym. I gym enough in my house. <laughs> I was a manager, manager of a health club for uh -huh. 14 years last year. You time. clean all the time, right? Yeah, and I know <laughs> the gym attracts the weirdest, weird, weirdest and wackiest type of characters you can imagine. Really? Yeah. And 14 years you stay with those? <laughs> I found it hilarious. Every day I used to go to the gym, I was laughing my head off. Mm -hmm. I found it very funny. It's like what? Oh, you don't want to know. There's <laughs> just some of the things. Okay. Oh, I, I will tell you if you like. What sign are you? Are you a Virgo? I'm, I'm Aquarius. Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not very critical, no? So, okay, never mind. Don't talk about other people, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Sometime we can, but another time maybe, huh? I was friends with them. You know, a lot of people wouldn't make friends with these type of people, but I made friends with them. Mm -hmm. They thought I was strange. Mm -hmm. If you've been there 14 years, yeah. <laughs> you could write a book, huh? Yeah, definitely. In one gym? In one gym. My God, aren't you a faithful type? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not working anymore? You the had gym, enough money or what? The gym closed down last time, just before initiation. Uh-huh. And so you don't want another gym? Um, I thought about it, but that type of job uh, is very difficult because, as, as you said earlier, to try and change people, uh, a lot of the time when you try and give people advice, it's okay when they're with you, but then when they leave you, they go back to doing what they were doing before. And it, I used to find that frustrating because they, they sort of relied on me all the time. Yeah. And then when they was with me, they was always telling me their problems about the family or the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. like that, so. so you get mm -hmm. negative, huh? I have a gym for you, up and down here on the hill. All <laughs> yeah. the I know, I'm doing it every day. It's every fantastic. Day. <laughs> You're a manager of the gym for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's the best exercise there is. Definitely. And it's uh, regular and it's easy. See? <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. You do it your own pace, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not like you have to come there and, <laughs> you know, jump in and run in with the machine, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not interaction with nature even. Here you walk mm -hmm. in oxygen, eh? <laughs> and you fill your lung with uh, good air, and you fill your eyes with greenery and a beautiful scene. Eh? Mm -hmm. We're very lucky to get this place, no? Mm -hmm. Good from Shui, you know? Okay. See, it's like an armchair, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah.
in front of the sea, and behind you is mountain. You couldn't get better than that. There are some people who walk up and down the mountain, but rarely, you know. They don't bother you. It doesn't matter, really. They're just stranger. Huh? They're cool, no? <laughs> At night time, there is a fire, fire, um, fire, fire, warm, fire, fire, yeah, they're so nice. <laughs> I didn't see them. Well, sometimes they come out in the afternoon. Afternoon. Mostly at night, they go, wait, 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 they play together under the avocado tree. <laughs> Before they took up that residency under the avocado, so it looked like a pen, you know. Okay, let's go. Young, no, I, a student, I work, no. And then uh, August, everybody had to go on holiday. Yeah. You're forced to. You like it or not? Yeah. And then I went on holiday, and then I just go. Um, I originally I wanted to go to Rome, and everybody go to Rome, you know, <laughs> just yeah. have a check out. And then on the train, I met a woman. She sat next to me. And she just talk, 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 and she says she likes me so much. Uh, can she invite me to her house? Mm. And I said, no, but I'm going to Rome. She said, don't worry, it's, it's costless. It's no cost. You're my guest. I just mm -hmm. like you so much. Please come, please come. Mm -hmm. Oh, she keeps saying that. Oh, so, okay, now let's go. <laughs> and uh, it's beautiful farm she has. Apricots, you know, um, plum, all kind of falling all over. Yeah. Nobody even pick them. It's too much, I guess. And she, ha she has like a small guest house, you know? Mm -hmm. And she gave me the best room, mm -hmm. biggest, best, and right in front of the swimming pool mm -hmm. in Florence, in the hill, mm -hmm. with the uh, full fruit orchids. Mm -hmm. oh, my God, I couldn't eat them all. <laughs> and <it's>, uh, <laughs> and the <laughs> they're all over, you know? You can pick it or you can be on the ground. It's lying all over. For well, them, it seems like nothing anymore because too much. It's a very big orchard, a swimming pool, and then every day they cook and oh, they invite me to eat with the family. And then her husband rode me on a carriage, horse carriage, oh, wow. mm -hmm. very beautiful one, Just for the guests, you know. Mm -hmm. And then run me around the countryside, you know, and showing me everywhere. But I can't remember much. I'm too young anyway. You know? <laughs> I was very young. Uh, Wow, that was a very uh, the hospital that I would not forget. I don't know how to find her again. Mm -hmm. If I find her, I would bring her here. But maybe she's not no more. She's no more on this earth. I think she's gone. Mm -hmm. She was already older, you know, like sixty or something. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's still there. <laughs> but who knows? The Italian are famous for living long, you know. So that's that's that. You know, the Italian they are so good. Yeah, they're really good for me. And I told you in Rome that all the both sides of the car just stop. It's not even on red. It's not even on the pedestrian area. I just walk through because, you know, I, mm -hmm. I thought I could. <laughs> Absent-minded, you know. And then the both side just stop. You know, like oh, I don't know, five meter away from me, both side. <laughs> And I just walk through, you know. I thank you them. Of course, I realize. I thank him. Thank. Sorry, sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> they was on European tour. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so good. No, nobody tell them to. No police. Nothing. Yeah. They just stop both sides. Stop just like, like by order, you know. Yeah. And it's a Rome city. Do you understand? It's a capital. Yeah. Busy. And tourist time at that time is not it's not like it's winter or anything, right? We went uh, like May or right? May so it's it's, it's warm already. They just stop that <laughs> I never seen anywhere so polite like that. Mm -hmm. And also yeah, they help you a lot, you know. Like I don't have uh, small money to pay for a taxi. I may produce a hundred dollars. I don't have lire. I don't have at that time. I don't know European money already. Not yet, huh? Okay. So could you please help me and uh, change it or do something? Yeah. And he said, here, here. Just take some money, pay him first, and then I do the rest later. 
He's so, so quick and so good, you know, so polite. And he, yeah, he, he, he go out and help me to pay for the taxi. Yeah. And then he said, okay, okay, you just take it easy and we take care of that. that keep your money, keep your money. <laughs> Don't show it all over, <laughs> he said to me. <laughs> Don't show it. Just keep it there and then uh, take, care, uh, take care later. <laughs> he give from, from his pocket money, you know. Yeah. Here, here, here. Don't worry. <laughs> and he's just a hotel worker, you know. Yeah. Not like he's a rich or anything. Mm-hmm. You know? He's just uh, like a receptionist, mm-hmm. <laughs> a concierge, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's so nice. Normally, um, the concierge might help you in any situation if you are in a good hotel. That wasn't a very good hotel. It wasn't like five star or something at all. It's just a common like three star or something. Yeah, pensione. Pensione, normal, you know, it's nothing glamorous. Because yeah. I, if I go alone, it depends on what hotel I have at that time, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's very crowded. You you can't you just get any, you know. Sometimes I sleep with bugs and all that that kind of hotel, you know, cheap because you share the, you share the, how do I say the lodging with the hundreds or thousands of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very cheap, you know, like fifty dollars per per night or twenty dollars, twenty five, yeah. something like that, you know. And then of course it's cheap because you share with thousands of them. Mm-hmm. And then later you see all the souvenir on your body, <laughs> you know. Before you say goodbye, they leave you some souvenir, you know, <laughs> your hair or something, <laughs> your clothes. <laughs> yeah, travel with you for free later on, you know, in your luggage. So I smuggled some of the bugs on the airplane <laughs> without knowing if the, the immigration cost me. Huh? Can you imagine if they caught me? Yeah. Now, where were we? Okay, it's just a common hotel, you know, two stars, three stars, something. Mm-hmm. And he was so nice. Uh, normally, the concierge in a good star hotel, they would do that for you, four star, yeah, you know. Course, yeah. yeah, huh? Yeah, of course. But. Only if you are already a customer also, you know, and they're very busy at that time, and he took time to help me out, you know. I said, because the taxi cannot stay there too long, please do something quickly. And he just took money out of his pocket. <laughs> yeah. No, they're very friendly and they're very helpful. Yeah, always. so good. Yeah. Especially the men, huh? The woman also. Woman also? Yeah. Uh, I only heard about um, Italian men's uh, gallantry, but I'm not. Sh- I don't know about women. <laughs> and also, when you go in a shop, yeah, uh, I mean, I see it from England. Yeah, you walk into, say, a shoe shop. No one comes up to you. No, all right. Um, you know, you just sort of browse, and only when you see something you like, you ask them. You have to go and ask them. Uh huh. But in Italy, they would take out everything out of the boxes to show you, and even if you don't buy anything, they're still very polite. And you know, they just love people. Soon. You know, they just, um, uh, yeah, that you might come back, who knows, like, no? Yeah. But other way, it's not just that, it's just mentality. Mentality, you know? Yeah. They just love people, I think. Hmm? Yeah. And in a city like Rome, they are used to with tourists already. Right? They, they're not like. Yeah curious or so beloved tourists, they'd probably be tired of all these foreign faces all year round, but mm-hmm. still they're so patient. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I uh, I walk and just a few steps and I realize that oncoming traffic too much, so I kind of hesitate and want to step back, but they all stop dead on their track. Chuck! And then <laughs> what to do? I just walk through, you know? <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, and they all smile. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no problem. You know, <laughs> so beautiful people. And uh, I stay in. Uh, one time I was in Monaco and stay in a hotel. Eh? Of course, it's a good hotel. Eh? I don't say where, otherwise you go there, do yeah. pilgrim, and make the weird out of me. <laughs> I know you sometimes. Yeah, they do that. You know, like in Hong Kong. Before, every time I go to Hong Kong lecture or I visit the Hong Kong group, anywhere I stay, after I left, I heard that they go in that hotel, be sick the whole hotel, wherever they can, <laughs> especially in my room, standing in line waiting to go in my room and jump on my bed, smearing their head all over on my bed, ask if they can buy the, 
bed sheet or pillow, whatever, bring home. Oh God, that's why from then on I I I keep secret where I'm going. Do you understand me? This is coming to bother people like that. I say, might as well go take all the 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 pavement that I walk on you all know, everywhere. <laughs> take the whole street off and make a new one. <laughs> pay for the government and get it, and you know, pay for for for. For a new 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 road to be made, and you take the whole thing home. <laughs> paving stone. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. One paving stone. Yeah, each. yeah. At that time, they were just new and so very, very much eager to see me, and I don't. They don't see me often, you know. Before everywhere I go, of course, the 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 foreign. Department already told them, you know, where, when, and so they they uh, dispatch a, a car to come out and get me and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. And then later on, I even told them that keep it quiet, you know. Even then, but after I left, of course, he don't have to keep quiet anymore. I didn't tell him after I left, he should still keep quiet. <laughs> so it's a loophole, you know. <laughs> so of course, everybody come here is up for grab, you know, and they come in, and I didn't know they 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 uh, how you say they um. For example, I say I stay three nights or two nights. They order one extra night, so that everybody go there, squeeze in, meditate in that room, yeah, or smearing on bed or do whatever. Oh. I don't know, <laughs> drinking apple juice or tossing. <laughs> I wonder some, what the people of the uh, other guests of the hotel were saying. Well, they don't even know. They just yeah. sneak in the hotel. There's a very long queue in the room next door. <laughs> They queue downstairs. They queue in the in the living room, in the, in the lobby, so nobody even know it. But it's a long queue, you know, uh. take turn. And I tell you what, one time I came back suddenly or something like that. I come back by the way, I forgot something or I don't remember. And I came back oh. to the hotel, oh, full of people in there, and it was winter, and they had to put uh, summer or something. I don't remember what summer or winter, whatever it is. It's a uh, aircon, you understand? Yeah. And then the whole uh, because too many people. And the, the, the glass, you can't even see anything. It's steaming, dripping. <laughs> and so for God's sake, please get out or open window, do something. <laughs> oh, they were <was> crazy people. <laughs> I was very touched, you know, of their devotion, of course, but please be normal, no? <laughs> At least treat me like a movie star only, at least. You know, if you want to treat me like something nice, a movie star is enough. <laughs> Not to go, because I don't think people go into the room where the movie stars stay and smear their head on the <laughs> pillow and, huh? Or sit there for hours on end just to smell <laughs> the cream or, <laughs> or the shower or the shampoo. That was the early day, you know. The Hong Kong people, huh? And Hong Kong is is it's not like they are not used to with the uh, foreign people, no? <laughs> Hong Kong, eh? Center of tourists, no? 